Hey everyone, it's Cheryl from Teaching Two and Three Year Olds. Our first day of school has finally arrived and I wanted to show you how we have our classroom set up. I've mentioned in my previous videos, my back to school videos, I like to keep things on the simple side, but I really don't know how it's gonna work until the children are in the classroom. So as they're here, I might be removing a little bit more. We shall see, but let me show you how we're set up for my 24th back to school. Before you enter our classroom, you will see our coat hooks. They are labeled and I'll eventually get their pictures on there as well. And then these are their cubbies. So let's see how we have the classroom set up for the first day. When you walk in the room, to the left is our reading area. And this is our quiet corner, so this is a nice place for children to go if they just want some quiet time. We have our feelings books and we have the cutest little feelings dolls. The emotion is written on the side of them. So we have this and we have our feelings cards. This is a freebie on the website, which I will put a link in the video's description. So we have this as soon as you walk in because, like I said, some children need some time to warm up and this is a nice place for them to start. We have our family board. The children can take their family's pictures off and walk around with them if that makes them feel comforted. And then I also like to have our Play-Doh table near the entrance as well. This helps children who might be having a hard time um, warming up as well. They come to the Play-Doh table first. The Play-Doh is still wrapped in its plastic bag. I take it out right before the children arrive so it's as fresh as possible. And then this is our circle time area. But during center's time, and that's how we start our morning, we use this as more floor play. So there's, right now there are some, a couple of parking garages and some cars. I heard that this group loves trucks and so I'm hoping that'll help if there's any separation anxiety. And then we have our light table and we have our translucent block, colored blocks and our colored window blocks. And at our science exploration center, I have it very simple. So we just have a mirror where we're looking at our facial features. I share this classroom with the three-year-olds and they will be actually doing some more like self-portraits. And I do have a printable on the website for that. Again, all the links will be in the video's description. And then in our dramatic play area, we have our food and we have our dishes and pots and pans. We have our dolls over here. I don't have anything on our fine motor for our class, but for the three and four year olds who share the classroom with me on alternate days, you can peek in there, you will see that there are jumbo buttons and they can lace them. But when I had those out during open house, I saw that those went all over the classroom with our two year olds. So we're gonna wait on stuff like that. In our block area, we have cars and assorted blocks, arch blocks, see-through blocks, tree blocks. We have our people and our animals. And we have our Melissa and Doug tree house. And I've been asked where we got this. This was donated to us by someone. And I don't think it's still available. If it is, I'll drop a link, but I have not seen it. All right, and then in the sensory table, this is actually set up for the three-year-olds and it has their family pictures in it. I have not decided if I'm going to have this yet for our two-year-old. I'll take obviously the family pictures out. I kind of have to see how things go today. So that's questionable. And then at our activity table, very, very simple. We just have some knob puzzles and also some, just the real basic fit together puzzles. And then in the corner, we have our writing area, which is simply right now, our table covered with paper and big chunky crayons. And then we will have our chalkboard at the easel, not ready for paint yet. And then we have our color cards, and this is part of our rainbow props packet on Teachers Pay Teachers. 
at our art table we have our people figures with some watercolors and this is going to be turned into our friendship banner which we will hang in the classroom i'll put a link to that activity in the video's description and part of our morning is being outside and since it's such a lovely day we are filling our water bins I wish every day of the school year was as nice as this. Part of our morning also includes this nice big gym. We are so lucky to have this. This is part of the church that we are in and we have a lot of rainy days where we live and to have access to this is wonderful. So we spend about a half hour in here and there's scooters and we also have spinners and things for them to climb. We have balls and then there's things that we don't have out right now but we have a basketball hoop we have a balance beam we have a tunnel we just kind of alternate what we put out each day so our classroom is ready I think I'm ready the first day is always exciting and I still get the first day jitters even after 24 years it's more excitement than nervousness but I think you all remember that feeling, no, no matter how long you've taught. We still get those first day jitters and it's exciting to start a whole new school year. So that's how we have our classroom set up. And now we're going to open the doors and you can see how our children are doing in the classroom. Right, we've been in class for about five minutes. So far, no tears. Crossing our fingers. Maybe, maybe a smaller one. That one. Oh, that's a pretty one. It also really helps to provide toys that the parents let you know their children love. And this little guy's mom said that he loves anything to do with cleaning. So we brought the vacuum out, and that I think is what really helped him come right into the classroom. Yep. And one of the things I did during open house was kind of talk to the parents and see what their children loved. And that really helped me plug them in when they arrived to point them to things that their mom or dad had told me that they really, that they really like. I think that makes a big difference. The babies are being well taken care of over here. Having fun with Play-Doh too. It's always a hit. Are you playing with the Play-Doh? Nice and soft. Oh, it's soft. Yeah. Oh, and the car and the Play-Doh too. Oh yeah, jump them out. There you go. Beep, beep, rolling. Beep, beep, rolling, rolling. Super nice. Is he giving you the pieces? Painting our people for our friendship banner. It's a dump truck. Cement mixer? What is it? What is it? Okay, buddy, we're gonna keep the rice. 
we are trying the rice. I, I did get decide to go ahead, since there's only five of the children, to open the sensory bin. If we had all ten, I would not have. And everyone's doing a really good job of keeping the rice inside the table. Having fun outside. Just a short time outside right now and then we'll come back later. As I was saying earlier, we tend to do extra outside time because it really helps those first few days. It's time to come to the circle, to the circle, to the circle. It's time to come to the circle. Get a book. Oh! We get a book and we take it to our spot. We get a book and come sit down. So now we're gonna go. We're gonna go to the gym. Take a friend's hand. Yeah. We gotta hold a hand. Yeah. Make sure to like Teaching Two and Three Year Olds on YouTube and also click on that bell icon because my goal is to put together a video for each of our themes. So that's gonna be about every other week. 
maybe even more, and you don't want to miss them. And if you click on the bell icon, then you will be notified. You won't have to search for it. Here's to a great school year. Thanks for watching.